Farmer Nick, do you know what protozoa and fungi do in the rumen of your cows? No, but I am ready to learn. Well, protozoa are great because they remove the oxygen from the rumen that is coming in there from the cows eating feed. And we want to keep the rumen in an anaerobic environment, meaning without oxygen, so that the other rumen microbes don't die. Protozoa also increase fiber digestibility, but they decrease the supply of microbial protein because protein to the cow because they incorporate some pro of the protein from the engulfed bacteria into their own cells. Protozoa, protozoa also decreases feed protein and decreases animal growth when dietary protein is limited, but it increases animal growth when efficiency growth and efficiency when dietary energy is limited. There are two main types of protozoa in the rumen. The first being isotrichid, which consumes mostly sugars and other soluble carbohydrates, and it doesn't engulf feed particles. The second most common is the entodynomorphid. I don't know how to say it, but it's okay. <laughs> and they can engulf feed particles and bacteria. In fact, rumen protozoa make up about 5 to 50 percent of the microbial biomass since they are relatively large. And we know that protozoa are large eu eukaryotes that are single-celled animals, so they are considered fauna. Fungi are also eukaryotes, and their importance in the rumen is to degrade plant cell walls, and more importantly, degrade lignin containing tissues and they do this by producing cellulases and hemicellulases and we recall from the first nutrition class that lignin is rigid and does not rot easily in the cow. Fungi makes up about 8 to 12 percent of the microbial biomass but this can vary widely depending on rations. Thank you Farmer Nick for joining in and learning how protozoa and fungi work in your cow's rumen. I sure learned a lot today.